Today, I want to talk to you about new beginnings. And I'm thinking about all you moms out there who know your kids are are a little bit older now and they've started school, which is often a time for transition for you as a mom. Because when your kid's two or three, they're really with you all of the time and they take up so much of your energy, your thought process, that, that there's hardly enough time to think about what you want and where you are in life. And a lot of moms struggle with this sense of identity. I know that I did for the first few years of each of my children's life. <laughs> so that's like six years for me of trying to figure out like, what do I want to do? What's going to fill me up? Oh, I'm thinking about any of you moms who may be in a similar situation or may have been in a similar situation and how you can use feng shui to activate and support you in this phase of new beginning and maybe you're thinking about what your next step is whether you have a career maybe you're thinking about a pivot or starting a new project or starting a new career or getting back to work and changing your path any of those scenarios could be considered a new beginning new beginning is represented by the wood element so if you think of that yang wood it's like imagining this blade of grass poking through the earth you know the first time in spring that's kind of the energy that it takes because it takes a lot of energy to start something new and to get it to the seed to sprout and the energy to rise and the idea is to formulate if you're struggling in that area or you're just wanting a boost some ways to boost you and support you could be to add more of the wood element in the new beginnings area which if you were looking at like a tic-tac-toe grid it would be at the middle left side of let's say we start with your bedroom because that's the easiest place to apply it using the bagua you could put three plants in that area three is a very auspicious number you could also use the colors green or blue or like teal or even like a, a blue potted plant you can also activate by adding in water because water feeds wood so if you want to, to feed your wood you could actually add a water fountain or you can bring in the color black i would encourage you to take a moment to once you get those objects place them and then with intention visualize the outcome of you starting this project. Think about why you want to do it. Why is this important to you? And then imagine yourself doing it. Imagine what you're going to feel like doing it. Really seeing yourself immersed in this new project. Visualize nine different ways that you see yourself following through and taking action. Because also the act of getting a plant and nourishing that plant is showing that you are someone who follows through on your projects. So the act of taking care of these three plants that you go out and get is the very young activity. And it is a mirror of you following through on whatever it is your, your new endeavor is going to be. I uh, encourage you to go out there and take some action, help to inspire and activate your new beginnings area.